Hi, I'm Stephen Hamp from Archery Supplies. Behind me is the Pandaris order that came in. I think it came in by sea. I've got some coming in by sea and I've got some coming in by air. The reason I do both is because C keeps the price down so I try and build a big order for C and then I try and bring in some stuff by air just to keep the stock up. Pandaris Archery make arrows. Okay, and they make arrows for a few companies that you may know and they brand it for them. Right, so a brand like, I'm just going to make up a brand, um, a brand like Heinz might make arrows and it might be made by Pandaris. Okay, so just, it is what it is. Um, but they are coming out with branding their own arrows and they're releasing more of their arrows now. So it's not like they're a new company because they're not, they've been making arrows for a whole bunch of people for a long time, right? So, I sell a lot of Pandaris arrows. The owner of the company is fantastic, fantastic to talk to, really, really, really good. Um, and he's honest. I really appreciate honesty. I can't, when people are not honest, I just, I just, that's like, What's the use of me having a conversation because you're not being honest with me, right? So I really appreciate honesty. Okay, I'm going to say that because I've dealt with companies like Winchester, and I'm going to pull out Winchester, and they're like, we're selling th hundreds of thousands of bows in Australia. No, you're not. There's no bows in Australia of yours in Australia. I know. So don't lie to me. Just tell me the way life is, and then we can have an honest, grown-up conversation, right? Pandaris, I'm selling a whole heap of Pandaris, right? A whole heap, and I'm going to go through some of the things. So, that, so this shipment has got some new, new products in it that I just want to discuss. I haven't looked up the specs yet, so you know things may be off, but I want to just flag them in this video because this is what happens. A big shipment comes in on a pallet, we start packing them up, we load them online, we price them out and sort of see where they sit in the marketplace. But there's some things here which I look, think look really cool, so I want to talk about those. Okay, so I want to talk about Pandaris as an arrow manufacturer. Pandaris now will account for over half all arrows I sell in my store. They now make up a major component of my overall sales. A major component. Um... I used to sell a few Skyline arrows and then it was really hard to get Skyline and these arrows are almost the same if not the same and I'm not saying they're made in the same factory and I'm not saying that but they are almost at the same okay the same spec same stuff just cheaper okay um, so that's why I was looking for other things because I couldn't get the Skylines and these guys had more and they had like lots of stuff and I was like well this will be a good brand to sell. And sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And I've, I've got lots of lots of videos where I talk about winning and losing in the business game. Um, I had a huge win when Gold Tip said, look, we want to supply everyone else. And I, was, I had lots of Gold Tip. I had about $100,000 worth of stock in Gold Tip. And Gold Tip said, look, we're going to supply someone else instead of you. Um, that failed for them. And they said, can you please sell our stuff again? But we're going to sell it to a few other shops as well. Like, I, gold tip never recovered for me. And I'm not saying I don't sell gold tip, because I do. I've got a whole pile of gold tip. But it's not the same. I don't have, I've got a fair bit of gold tip, but it's not the same. I used to sell a bunch of gold tip. And then I got victory, and victory was great. And, you know, I'm waffling, as some of my customers say I do. Pandaris, for me, it was bang huge sales and it's just been really really amazing so i've been in business for 40 odd years this is one of the most amazing companies i've sold their accessories their bits they improve they listen they take feedback and they improve i cannot i shoot these arrows uh, and I'm not saying anything bad about any other arrows because they the other arrows are good as well, right? But I shoot these arrows and I don't shoot them because I'm a distributor for them because I sell a whole bunch of other arrows here, right? I'm a distributor for Victory. I'm a distributor for lots of brands, right? I shoot these, brand, these, these brands because they're affordable and I get good results. 
I don't know if I get better results with Pandaris than other arrows, but I have shot my personal best with Pandaris. Um, and I'm just that cheaper. That's it. So, um, and they've got so much variety and now they've added more variety. These are new. These are the Pandaris Champion Arrow. I'll show you what they are. This is them. This is a 4.2 arrow. So what does that mean? It's like a carbon one. If you know carbon ones, it's like a victory VIP. It's like a gold tip pierce. In a 0 0.001 straightness. So it's like a elite victory VAP. It's like a gold tip pierce in the 0 0.001 or a pierce tour. It's not like a carbon one because carbon ones aren't this straight. It's like a really good eastern arrow, which I don't know what it is, but it's like that. It comes with pins, it comes with knocks, it comes with fletching. The fletching is very much like an AE Max. 0 0.001, it comes with points in the packet. Look, I haven't priced them yet, right? So, but I'm going to get, I'm going to pull a price out the air because I think it will be pretty close. Probably about 130 bucks a dozen Australian. Nothing else will touch it in price. The only thing that will compare is um, the Infinity Arrow, which is the same arrow, just not as straight. Okay, and they'll be about a hundred dollars a dozen. These are fantastic for beginners to get in the sport, and I cannot tell you what how much impact this is having on getting people into the sport. I see videos on people saying about, you know, pro archers and, you know, like Levi Morgan just changed to, you know, from gold tips. Like, Levi Morgan is not having many, much impact on getting people into the sport from my shop, from my perspective. Having affordable gear where people can shoot well with has a massive impact. I cannot tell you how, what... I can tell you what an impact it has. We come in and buy some arrows for $100 and they're amazing and shoot an amazing score with them, which are not rubbish. These arrows are amazing, right? These will be big. The pin knocks will be a small groove knock, I'm guessing, on all the sides. So if you're shooting a compound, you probably need to change the pin knocks. The pin knocks are cheap. You can fit, you know, your biter pin knocks, your eastern pin knocks, your gold tip pin knocks, your AE pin knocks, whichever pin knock you want, it's all the same. Just their pin knocks are cheap. Look, we've seen these. We've seen these before, like when I open up a box. These are like a traditional wood. They're not wood, they're a carbon, but they look like wood with feathers. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some other arrows. These were amazing. Um, I've done a video on them. These are the ice point 3.2, so same thickness as a X10, um, as a Skylon, um, as a Skylon Paragon. These are the ice points. Um, they come pre-made, about 200 bucks a dozen with points and knocks, and they're amazing. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so these are the new Versus. There are 23 arrows, so this is like an indoor, an indoor 3D arrow for line breaking. So Pandaris make, as I sort of said at the start of the video, is they make arrows for a whole bunch of people, right? They make light, heavy, they've got 3K, which is a cross weave carbon, which you're probably familiar with with a few other brands. I think what you're gonna see with Pandaris is them release more and more of their brand with these are new. So you're gonna see more and more new stuff come out of the brand. Um, I think you're gonna see more and more hunting stuff come out. So you're gonna see like the normal um, 6.2 shaft, which is your normal standard carbon in a higher quality hunting shaft. You're gonna see probably a 5.2 um, hunting shaft. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see a 4.2 uh, 3k style shaft come out of Pandaris it's um, I'm not saying they're doing it I'm just saying I wouldn't be surprised like I just I turn my back and then next minute it's like oh what's this I haven't seen this before 
and it's like, oh, well, we actually produce all these arrows for other people, and we've got all this other stuff. It's just we're just dipping our toes in the marketplace and, you know, seeing how it goes. Um, so but I wouldn't be surprised if as Pandaris grows in Europe and America and across the world, Asia and stuff, um, that they will start to release more and more of their own product in their name, their label. Um, it just makes sense to me as a consumer that it's like, well, okay, they produce a whole lot of product. Now, when I, when I speak to their owner, I say I expect, I expect your sales to exceed whatever, right? Globally, they wouldn't compete against Eastern, right? Because Eastern's got all their distributors and they struggle to get into stores who will distribute their product. Because if you're an Eastern distributor, well, do you want Pandaris? you'll probably lose your Eastern distributorship. Eastern won't allow you to sell their products, right? I'm going to say right now that more and more stores are going to say, I am making no money with Eastern. I can pick up a Pandaris product, make a good margin on it, and it will be a product which is half the price of an Eastern product, and it will be a very similar product. To Eastern. Eastern just released a whole bunch of new shafts. Pandaris already produced those shafts previously, right? So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. They were already in Pandaris, Pandaris's lineup, and now Eastern have it. The exact same shaft, which Eastern have just released, already produced. And I'm like, that's really weird. I don't know why that is. Maybe Eastern's copying Pandaris. Maybe. I don't know. It's just very, very weird how that how that occurred. Um, but anyway, um, I think that is the future. I think there will be more and more stuff. When I say stuff, there will be more and more competition of the domineering companies, the ones who are going to dominate the arrow shaft industry. And I think Pandaris will be one of those players in the industry. They will have low overheads. They'll probably have to produce mass numbers of them. They'll customize. And I don't think it will be long until you'll see Pandaris in your local archery shop if you don't already. I know a lot of a lot of my friends overseas have purchased Pandaris products. Very, very happy with them. Um, and I know they're having trouble. Pandaris is having trouble getting into the major distributors like Lancaster, like, you know, SSA, JBD, um, Quicks. I don't know if Quicks has got them, but it won't be long until they're there. It might be two months, it might be three months, it may be six months for someone slow, but as soon as someone's got it, the other person's then got to pick it up because their sales will blitz everything else on the marketplace and you'll basically you won't be in business unless you're selling the product. That's how big it is. It's just, and um, and in saying that, you say, I, I probably sound like I'm saying I don't sell any gold tip, I don't sell any victory. That's not the case. I do sell victory, I do sell gold tip, I do sell eastern. I'm just saying the market for these, for, for Pandera shafts, in the recreational lineup, and the competition lineup, and all the other lineups, and being so price sensitive will put major pressure on the major players. So it's going to put major pressure on Black Eagle. It's going to put major pressure on Eastern. It's going to put major pressure on Gold Tip. And to a lesser degree, Victory. Because I think Victory is already growing its market share across the world. Um, it seems to me that it's growing all the time. And what it's doing is taking share from the other players. And I'm going to say probably Eastern's losing market share to all the players. And it's probably losing it at a greater rate now than it ever has before. Um, so anyway, that's Pandaris' new products. Um, I'll be doing reviews on all these products and 
seeing if I've got all the bits for them all. Um, but I'm very excited about the new products. I'm excited to see them, then price them up and put them online and sort of see how they sell. I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies. Thanks for